please rise. And who presents this woman to be married to this man? Yes, you do. You said that faster than you needed to. You can kiss her again, just for that. Yeah. Okay. Starting to kiss her already. You're not even married. You're just kissing. You had to be kissed, right? Oh, big breath. Yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Welcome, dearly beloved family and honored guest. Let us all invite all those who are here today to open up our hearts to this joyous occasion. We are assembled today to witness the celebration and the joining of two lives in marriage. Nicole and Greg have asked us all to be with them and to rejoice with them in the making of this most important commitment and the essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his and hers entirety as a lover as a companion and a friend it is therefore a decision which is not entered into lightly but undertaken with great consideration and respect please have your seats and silence your cell phones good to see everyone Everyone's comfortable, it's a beautiful day, and we have the most beautiful couple right here with us today. On behalf of Nicole and Greg, they're overjoyed that you're all here to witness this special moment in their lives and to participate in their wedding ceremony. You are here to celebrate a union that has developed over time, and they are each other's best friend, and they're here now to publicly declare their love and seal their unity in marriage. It is therefore fitting and appropriate that you and the, your families and friends are here to support them and we trust that you will be always there for them in the future in loving support. Now sometimes we lose track of people after they're married they get on their way so you pick up the phone and say hello make sure these two are okay. Their roots are firmly planted in love and in friendship. And these roots have been made stronger by you. You will always be close to their hearts and for that they want to thank you for being here today. But before we go on to the ceremony, we want to remind everyone that this ceremony, this wedding, is a celebration of the family. It's the blending of the families, separate up to this moment, but united from this day forward blending their different traditions, strengthening the family tree. So Nicole and Greg wish to honor the blending of the families by presenting a rose to their mothers, to thank their parents for their many selfless sacrifices they have made and their unconditional love so freely given. You know you two should be in a magazine, right? Oh, no, I mean, this picture, like, it's amazing. Yeah, Are you yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> I you. We ask you now to bow your heads and bring to mind any loved ones who could not be here today. Some could not make the journey and others have passed on before us. Though they're not with us physically, they are here with us in spirit. So let us pause for a moment to invoke their presence. 
through our thoughts and our prayers. Once in a lifetime, if we're lucky, someone comes along and something clicks. There's a connection that is not only instant, but undeniably real, deep, and lasting. When you find this special person, it seems that everything just fits, like the missing pieces of a puzzle have finally fallen gently into place. You share many common values and interests and goals and yet you are different enough to keep things interesting and the end result is that you complement and balance each other in all the right places. And there is a bond between you which is made of genuine mutual respect and admiration, affection and understanding. Not just today, but forward. With each you provide a warm, safe place where you can truly be yourselves, always knowing that you're loved and accepted for who you are. Happily, this means that you may be counted among the truly blessed in this life, for you have been fortunate enough to find the one. You have found the one who supports you in the pursuit of your dreams and goals and inspires you to be the very best person you can be, the one that makes you laugh. He makes you laugh all the time, doesn't he? Yes. I think I'm a little more funny. You're funnier. <laughs> Uh, I agree. We've talked about it. <laughs> the one whose smile melts your heart, whose eyes light up your whole world, and whose arms around you make you feel safe and loved. You have found the one you can trust with your heart, and this is worth everything. How many people married put your feet up in the air? People married here? You'll understand the next part of this segment. Um, there are not many compliant people who are married here. Uh, wives are usually in charge of that. Did you hear that? I've heard. You heard this, okay. Heard. Well, Nicole and Greg, there are no ties on earth sweeter than a marriage between two people. There are no vows on earth that are solemn or more solemn than those you were about to make. This marriage is a new beginning. It's flawless in its good humor and sense of well-being. It is the utmost wonderful expression of love. Now, all these people, including you, are worldly enough to know that the days of marriage will not always be filled with happiness and joy as it is today. And if it was really, really raining hard right now, you might be thinking a little differently. But as you live it out, you know that your relationship, listen to this one, Greg, will have moods and seasons. Do you have any ants in the audience? Uh, several. Depending on you to give him that advice about the moods part, and uh, if you remember the commitment that you're making today, you will never bow down when difficulties arise. You'll be always able to ride out many a stormy seas with confidence, knowing that those times are only temporary. And above all, the years that lie ahead, remember that love is what brought you two together and love is what matters. Now, when we spoke with you both, I'm not gonna get mushy, I'm not gonna say all those things. When we ask Greg, when did you realize you were in love with Nicole? When did you come to mind this feeling of love? And you said, we truly fell in love during our first trip to Grandpa John. Is he here? Grandpa John. Grandpa John's house in the woods in West Virginia. And what's amazing about her is that you feel she made you a better person and definitely a more patient person person. I know you want to get this marriage done, right? So you want to get the rings now, I'll do it right now between you and I. No, you're patient. You wouldn't do that. You feel calm and complete. You love the memories and any time that you travel to Mexico. Is it Bonnaroo? It is Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo. You both love trying new experiences, events, foods, restaurants, and you foresee and hope that your future lives will continue to be this way, full of love, health, and success. You know now on this day that you always have someone who loves you unconditionally and always has your back. 
and you said that the relationship is the best and most meaningful relationship that you've ever had and want to continue to grow and evolve for the rest of your lives. Absolutely. Now, Nicole, she had 10 pages I know, I about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From the beginning, you said, and I'll cut to the quick, but you loved everything about Greg. Silly as it may sound, it's important. But the moment you completely fell madly in love, head over heels, can't get enough of this guy, was the same time and place. A random last minute planned trip to Grandpa John's in West Virginia. No internet, no TV. Look, see? Sorry. See what I'm saying? He can make you smile with a hug or a kiss on your forehead. He's an amazing friend and truly the best one you've ever had. He would do anything for you. He loves you deeply and cares for anyone that you love and all of your family. You remember the good times that he does too. And it's hard to keep those memories after 20 years unless you keep reoccurring with them and, re and reminding each other of those great times that you do have. You foresee the same, a successful career, but also children, Mm -hmm. A home that is full of love. Did you decide on two, five, ten? I'm sure she's going for ten. Turns out, turns Good, out, we'll turns out on that. <laughs> Why do you want to be married? Was the question. Greg, truly is my best friend, and he's the one I tell everything to. He makes me happy with just a hug. Couldn't live without him. So today is the celebration of this love and a full commitment for you two soulmates. And it's tough to find that in this world, and as these married people will attest to, when you find it, we need to celebrate, and that's why all these people attended. Before we go on to our ceremony, we have a couple traditional things, and one of them is the declaration of intent, or the charge to the couple, where the minister gets to ask, do you really want to? It's a little late for that. You're agreeing now? Now you're agreeing? I think so. I'm asking the question. All you need to do is say yes. Nicole and Greg, you both are here today, witnessed by God, your family, your loved ones, and friends as you take the sacred vows of matrimony. You are the best of friends, forsaking all others. You have chosen each other, knowing what you know of each other, trusting in what you do not know yet. And we know the vows are coming right after which the vows are longer than a mortgage. Mm -hmm. So this is why the question. Bride and groom, you've invited us to witness the happiness that you have found in each other. Are you ready to enter into this marriage believing that the love that you share with each other will endure all things? If so, say together, yes. Yeah. Yes. Back row, confirmed, yeah. you heard? Good. <laughs> then you won't mind, I won't carry on the following tradition of into this holy union, Nicole and Greg now come to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, follow that path. Straight away out to the... <laughs> Truly your friendship has caught fire today, and here we are at the vows. So I would ask you to face each other and repeat after me, Greg. I, Gregory, take you, Nicole. I, Gregory, take you, Nicole. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Nicole. I, Nicole, take you, Gregory. I, Nicole, take you, Gregory. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for richer. <laughs> for she didn't richer go for, or for it. It was poor. good. She did good. In sickness or in health. In sickness or <coughs> to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. And I believe you have something you want to read to him. Yeah. Are you ready? I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate. 
for you are my feet, my sweet. I want no world for beautiful. You are my world, my true. Here's the deepest secret nobody knows. Here's the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life. Sorry. <laughs> Which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. This is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. Now the rings, a circle is the symbol of the sun and earth and the universe. Like circles, your rings have no beginning, no ending. They are tokens of a growing relationship that you have come here to celebrate and confirm. Cody? <laughs> Thank you. It all worked out. Okay. Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Put it on. Good. Put your left hand. Keep it out. Left hand out. You're doing good. Do as she says. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Nice job to both of you. Hold my hands, face me. May the love that you feel and share today continue to grow deeper and stronger all the days of your lives. Having declared yourselves each to the other in the eyes of the Lord and witnessed by your family and friends, I do now by the authority vested in me by God in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I pronounce you husband and wife. Greg, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Gregory Peck! Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, my Thank pleasure. You. Thank you, my pleasure. And you want to say hi to your other half now? Congratulations. <laughs> you have the license. That's right. My pleasure. And congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Please recess. I think you have a nice cocktail waiting for you. <laughs>